Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alona Taraka, and we are now at another segment of our radio show, WIJT, here on our YouTube channel. So, welcome. What we have been discussing today is uh, a listing of steps that you need to take in order to start your own small business. Now, first of all, we should thank God that we are American citizens with a country that is based on capitalism, and there's no reason why you should not take advantage of that opportunity, which is why it's been created in our society, for you to open up your own small business. And there's no reason why you can't do that, because it is an equal opportunity among every U.S. citizen to do this. All right. Uh, so in order to, you know, create the product or service that you are offering society and your community is to follow these steps that I use when I want to start my own small business. So we have reviewed step one, which is knowing our strengths and weaknesses and listing our strengths and skills on what we can offer our community in order to fulfill a need or a purpose for others that would like to, you know, purchase our product or service that we offer. So, and then step two was to create a name for our business entity. So that would be great is you try to be, you know, as unique as you possibly can and to make sure that your name somehow reveals the purpose of what your company has to offer your community. So now we go to step three. Step three is your budget, your working budget. For the beginning of your company. So you want to write down the uh, list of items that you're going to need uh, money for in order to make it happen. Like uh, your website is an expense, your business letterhead and business cards, your uh, trips to different you know legal representatives or accountants, in your community uh, hopefully you know some of them would offer a free consultation uh, to start up your own small business but you want to make sure you know ask them if they charge anything for consultation fees all right also uh, any money set aside for your advertising is going to be one of your greatest expenses so you want to, you know, look at where you want to advertise in your community and how you're going to come up with the money for your budget, all right? And so you might want to take a look at your own personal salaries and incomes that you are receiving now and how much of that or what percentage can you take from that in order to invest in your own small business within your community, all right? So you want to keep that in mind. And then step four is you need to talk to a legal representative and you want to make this decision now of whether you would like to have an LLC or a corporation. All right. So a legal representative will be able to help you make that decision on what type of uh, entity you know you would like to start and then also you need to visit an accountant or a certified financial planner and they will help you with a IRS tax ID number so that is very important as well and the deadline for small businesses to file their business tax returns is March 15th, okay? So if you have a small business, don't forget, and also if you're starting one, that your IRS tax returns are due by March 15th, whereas our personal tax returns are due 
April 15th. All right. So the next step that we have here is step five, which is uh, business insurance. Again, business insurance is very important. Now, your legal representative or your accountant or a certified financial planner, they might be able to help you with this. It's very important, as I'm sure you know why. And, of course, you know, uh, it's you need to have, everyone needs to have business insurance in this country if you have your own small business. Now, personally, for my small businesses, when I start them, I use By Burke Insurance Company, which is part of the Berkshire Hathaway Insurance Group. And, of course, everything that Mr. Warren Buffett offers society is excellent. They're a very friendly company, and it's a very simple process to start your own uh, business insurance policy with this company. The next step is we want to open a checking account at a local bank. So you preferably would like to go to a bank that specializes in small business or big business and open up a checking account. You have your tax ID number. You are incorporated or LLC, which is also a form of corporation. Or you can also start as a sole proprietorship. There's no reason why you can't do that either. If you do go in the way of a sole proprietorship, that is a different part of a different tax structure that you know gets added on to your own personal tax return, which is what I do. If I start a sole proprietorship, I use my social security number and that uh, you know income that I receive from using any, my sole proprietorship goes on my personal tax return. That's what I do. And I you know haven't been told not to. So you can do that as well. All right, and then the next step, of course, is business cards you need and a website and a business letterhead stationery. So all of those items you need to have, you know, to set up your own small business and to have it ready. So when you receive your first customer, you're all prepared for everything. All right. Then you want to set up your social media accounts, which is also very important. There are so many people on social media these days that that's where you want to have a great big presence is on social media. And then the next step is to write a plan for your operation. In case something happens to you, God forbid, you have a plan written down step by step uh, or they call it a contingency plan but for your operation. All right. So that's very important to, you know, write down. And if someone asks you for a plan of operation, you have something to give them. It could be a few sheets of uh, paper, and that's fine. And it's also good to have in case you'd like to borrow money someday. So you want to make it more detailed, you know, when that time comes. And there are several, you know, sites online that would help you with, uh, you know, operation uh, business plans. All right. And then, of course, the last step that I always use is uh, advertise, advertise, advertise. So this is very important. You know, as we said, advertising is going to be one of your largest expenses in your budget. And that's what you need to do. You need to go to as many community uh, activities as you can and you give out your business card and you introduce yourself to everybody and you tell them what you do and how you serve the community and they will be so happy if you fulfill a need or a purpose in your community other than doing volunteer work you know helping others so these are the steps you need to take in order to start your own small business and of course, you know, 
If you have any suggestions or comments that you would like to share with us here at WIJT, is to you know leave a message in our comment section, or you can write to us at our email account which is epii at ymail.com. That's epii at the letter y, m-a-i-l, dot com. So, thank you again for your time, and good luck with your own small business. You can do it. Yes, you can. Bye.